So we've been talking about tools we can use to help us in our uh, web service development. We looked at SOAP UI, a really good tool to test uh, SOAP web services in the previous tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm gonna talk about one other tool, uh, which is really handy in the sense that it actually comes with Eclipse itself. You don't have to install or download anything, it's already there in Eclipse. To get to this tool, just click on this button over here, which says Launch the Web Services Explorer. If you don't see this button, to go to the window menu and uh, customize perspective. And here you should have this thing checked, launch the web services explorer. So it'll be in the toolbar visibility tab. And once you have this checked, you should see this button here. Just click on it and you can launch the web services explorer. So what does the Web Services Explorer do? It, true to its name, lets us explore web services. So there's this navigator panel over here, and uh, it says UDDI main. What we actually need to do here is go to one of these buttons over here. Yeah, this one, which says the Wisdle page, right? When you hover over this button, it says Wisdle page. So click on that, and you have a new navigator tab, which says Wisdle main, right? This is what we want. Click and it shows open WSDL. So I can actually open a WSDL URL to explore. So I'm gonna paste my testmart catalog service WSDL URL and hit go. Now notice that it actually shows the service, it shows the port, and I can expand this and it shows us the individual operations. So I have the operations here as well and uh, this is the endpoint, right? It shows basically details about the web service. So if you want to test an operation, let's say I'm going to test this get products v2. So I just click on it. And now I can actually send an input argument. Now arc zero is the only input argument I can send. It's not very intuitive that this is actually input argument, but you see here there's an add button. So I can click on it and I can add an argument that I can send to the web service. So I enter this argument I press go and here at the bottom you see there is a response which says this is the product all these output values are actually shown over here okay so I can test some other operation let's try uh, fetch categories now fetch categories does not take any inputs so I just hit go and in the body, you see the response is over here. So for simple testing, you don't really need SOAP UI, right? The, you know, the facility is already available in Eclipse. Now, the Vistal itself is available over here. And uh, what I can do here is import Vistal to Workbench, right? I wanna import this Vistal. I can give it a name, I'll call this smart catalog service dot visual. And here I can choose which project I need to import the visual to. I'm gonna import it to the testmart project that I already have. And I click go. Now it says that the visual has been successfully imported. Now, if you go to the project explorer tab, you see there is this visual file that you've just imported. So double click on it. And you can see the Eclipse Vizzel plugin rendering the Vizzel in a nice format. It's a graphical format of rendering the Vizzel. A lot of things uh, in the Vizzel that we already learned are very clear over here. So you can see that there is a service, the service has a port, and then you see all these individual operations. I can click on them and see the input and the output. For the input, I can click and uh, I can see the types over here. So you see there are different operations and different types. So I can narrow down to each type and basically I can browse the visual graphically, right? So we have seen the visual in an XML format. Here I'm actually doing a graphical uh, browsing of the same visual. So it's it's handy to see, you know, if it's if the visual is fairly complicated, it's actually easy to browse through the visual and see the different operations and the types over here. 
So this, these are a couple of tools that come with Eclipse. They're very handy when you're working with large visuals which have a lot of XML content. So you can actually browse through them fairly easy. And the, uh, the first tool that I showed you is a way to send simple requests and examine the response uh, without having to install any external tool like SOAP UI or anything of that sort. So I hope these tools are handy and uh, I would definitely encourage you to explore them a bit more. Again, as with the SOAP UI, there are a few more advanced uh, things you can do with these tools. I just, uh, uh, to be honest, I haven't used them in a whole lot of detail, but I'm sure once you explore it, you're sure to find a whole lot of uh, ways in which it makes your workflow easier. So again, I hope this helps and I hope you enjoy exploring them. Thanks for watching.